<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Just woke up. Uh, my babies, my babies are, are still asleep. Um, but I have to really talk about um, Bam Rodriguez and that sensational TKO last night against Rung Versailles. Hold on. Let me get my black two sugars. Like I said, I just woke up. Look, sensational. And, and I'm going to be quite honest. When Bam Rodriguez uh, beat Quadras, right? Um, and it was like, you know, a superstar. You know, Bam Rodriguez looking like a superstar. He has all this uh, potential. I, I wasn't completely sold yet. Okay, I'm going to be quite honest. I know I was looking forward to Quadras versus Rung Versailles, actually. And Rung Versailles, he got sick. I don't think it was COVID. I think it was not COVID. But he got sick. And it was Bam Rodriguez who was a late replacement for Quadras. And I'm thinking, ah, maybe. You know, maybe it was just a fluke. No, hell no. I want to say this, too. I told you guys. Uh, the Four Kings, to me, isn't, you know, after the original Four Kings, isn't Devin the Dream Haney, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis, um, and, uh, wait, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis, and Teofimo Lopez, right? That... The real four kings after the after the original four kings, in my opinion, is Rung Vasai, Quadras, uh, Chocolatito, and Estrada. Which means that the real emperor wasn't Cambosis, it is Bam Rodriguez. Right? Bam Rodriguez beaten Quadras, walked through him, and then beat the hell out of Rung Vasai. You can't help but to think about Roman Gonzalez and Estrada, right? Um, another thing I want to say is this. Uh, Roman Gonzalez, to me, I think he's the best one out of the four kings. And I know these guys are getting a little bit long in the tooth. Um, you guys know how much I really, really love uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. And what Roman Gonzalez did to that young boy, he took him to school, all right? It would be something if Bam, Rod Bam Rodriguez can go up against someone like uh, Roman Gonzalez and beat him. But a lot of people are projecting that he can. Why? Well, Julio Cesar Martinez didn't walk through Quadra, Quadras and Rung Vasai. Okay, so that's different. Bam did. All right. It kind of reminds me on a lower level, not just weight and size, but still at the same time, just legacy wise, it's still on a lower level. But rem remember like Muhammad Ali coming out of the Olympics beating uh, Sonny Liston twice and beating the older guys, Floyd Patterson, uh, uh, Archie Moore. You're here now, right? This young guy, just just getting these guys out of the way. You're long in the tooth. There's a new breed. There's a new era. Quadras, Rung Vasai. If Bam could do the same thing and knock, knock down these older uh, legends, these guys still holding on to the top 10 pound for pound. I got Estrada still in my top 10 pound for pound. And if you think Roman Gonzalez is, I don't blame you because I do think Roman Gonzalez beat Estrada the last fight. But congratulations to Bam Rodriguez and what he accomplished uh, knocking out Ron. That, that, is, that is incredible. It's totally incredible. Uh, and, I mean, he moved up to do it, right? He moved up to fight Quadras. Quadras. I think he was going to fight at flyweight or something like that. And then last minute moves up. Bam is, is incredible. Um, I didn't call the fight last night. Um, you, look, we're going to be on a roll. Okay. Start next week. I mean, yeah, next Saturday out of Sonya, his fight. Um, you know, that UFC card is amazing, but you know, just moving forward, Ryan Garcia, uh, uh, Triple G, Canelo Alvarez, just my God, uh, even uh, Charlo. <laughs> Charlo against who? No, we're going to be on a roll. Um, so I needed to find a weekend to relax uh, with the family, and I chose this one. And today, Let's get ready for some football. I got to get my fantasy team together. I've been losing for the past two years. Maybe you guys can tell me who my first couple of picks should be. Showbiz, little adult. Shh. I'm out.